my pump. Their basements keep flooding. I see water, I see mold. The city was contacted. And they told her it was not their problem and that she was the only one complaining. Now the defenders are getting involved and suddenly work crews show up in this neighborhood. Now there is some finger pointing going on tonight. Yeah, residents say they complained to the city about the constant basement flooding. The city says they didn't complain to the right office. Well, whatever the case, homeowners are dealing with damages, flooding, and repair bills, so they turned to defender Karen Drew for some help. This is Joycene Foxhall's basement on American Drive on the city's west side. My basement has flooded five times. All I'm asking is the city come out and clean these sewers. It's too difficult for the 73 year old to get downstairs, so her son is recording this mess. They've been documenting for months. This was a nice, beautiful, finished basement. Everything had to be gutted, everything had to be thrown out. I have replaced two washers and dryers, two furnaces, and two hot water tanks in the last two years. That's because when it rains, her basement floods. She has complained to Detroit's Water and Sewerage Department, but nothing has been fixed. I need the problem resolved and give me some hope, not, not a, a, a empty bag of promises. The 73-year-old is keeping records of her expenses, the appliances she's had to replace. She spent just over four grand. We don't have that type of funds coming in here. We're both seniors. Here's my pump. A few doors down, Damian Clark is dealing with the same mess. And you see it's on right now. Every time it rains, washing machine and dryer, um, calling people out here to snake it out. That seems to work for maybe two or three weeks. After that, it's back up again. It's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Sheila Johnson lives on the same street. The smell in her basement is disgusting. I even got that digged up because I thought maybe it was coming from the ground, but it's not. So I spend like, I went to two hot water tanks. I went to two washers and dryers. I took the complaints from the residents on American Drive straight to the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department. So why wasn't Mrs. Foxhall's flooding concerns fixed? The department admitted they had her call on record. Had we received multiple calls initially, right, we would have put a camera in the sewer service. Subsequently, when you all called and you provided additional addresses, it allowed us to do a different type of investigation. That investigation found a big problem. A catch basin lead that has collapsed, but the rest of the issue is related to root infiltration. Residents complained for months to the city, got no answers. Then the defenders got on the case, and as you can see, we got results. The city got crews out to the neighborhood to correct that collapsed catch basin. The city also discovered there was no issue on Mrs. Foxhall's property. She did not have an issue, right? in her particular right. service. Meaning the lines on her property were not clogged. It was a city issue. So guess what? The city is reimbursing Mrs. Foxhall the $4,000 she spent on replacing her appliances. I was like, woo! I couldn't jump up and down. I told my husband if I could, I would just stand in the floor and do like this. The city tells me the cleaning of the public sewers to remove tree roots has been completed, but they still need to line the sewer, which will help prevent future problems. That's going to take about two weeks. However, the city is reminding property owners it is their responsibility to maintain their sewer lines on their property and keep them clean, which in some cases is what causes flooding as well. Of course, I'll be staying on top of the story. Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders. That is fantastic, and I love Mrs. Foxhole uh, fault. Foxhall's reaction, she's just like, Woo. Yeah. Uh, if you're having a flooding issue, you want to report, make sure you call the right department. It's Detroit Water and Sewerage. And if you think the flooding is a city related issue, you can file a claim. We post the information on clickondetroit.com. So important to keep those catch basins clean exactly. and yeah. everything. Too. Loved her reaction. Her reaction Woo. was great. Here's